how to sell digital products on google merchant center hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the uh, your online store of the digital products into your google merchant center it is very easy and very simple all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go so the first thing that you need to do is to head over google for retail or you're going simply to type in into the navigator google merchant center and it will take you to this google for retail so you are going simply to visit this platform then you are going to click on sign in you need a google uh, account for this step so you are going to sign into the merchant center you are going to see here the overview of the google merchant center now before i proceed with the uh, google merchant center you need uh, to uh, sell the digital products or any type of product you need a online store to make that possible because a google merchant center is going to be the uh, let's say here the promoter of the products so you are going simply to promote your products on google ads or on google uh, navigators they will be popping right there on the navigation they will be sponsored and etc so this is a, not a complete checkout you cannot collect money from google so you're going simply to head over shopify create a store or a woocommerce or something like that but the most um, reliable technique is to create a shopify store because uh, google merchant is going to uh, know well uh, what is a shopify store so right here let's say that we have created our shopify store we have visited the website or the platform shopify signed out or signed up with an account we have added the products so you need to add uh, your product right away and then you're going simply to uh, set up here the product so we are going to uh, visit your business right there as you can see on the left side bar or the left side menu now we have here all the products that we have created so it is a new account so we haven't created a, a product yet so now we are going to add a product and so now we are going to add the product source Either it would be a product from a file, CSV file, or something like that, a Google Sheet, add a one by one product, or using a API. So I'm going to use the one on one because the API is going to be here a bulk add in from the Shopify store API or something like that. I'm going to add it manually. So you are going to click on it. And then you are going to set up here the product details. As you can see, the first thing that will appear product page on your online store. So we are going to head over to the store and we are going to seek for our product. So in our case, we have PDF to be a designer. This is a digital product as the name mentions is a PDF. So it is a downloadable file. So we are going to uh, copy this. This is just an example. So we are going to uh, paste the product link here. We are going to here copy and paste all of the, um, as you can see here, the title and also the description. So we are going to do that. The brand, you can go ahead and leave it empty for the description. You can go ahead and copy and paste the same thing or do whatever you want. For the images, you are going simply to drag and drop any image. So we are going to see here if we have some images. I'm going to drag and drop any of the images that are available into my downloads. So with that, we are not going to waste the time. So you are going to put up here all of the images that concerns your digital product. You have a lot of spaces to add the images and also a lot of image sets. So as you can see here, we have added this one. So for the price, you're going to set up the product type first. Uh, for example, ebook, this is a digital product. Uh, for the category, you are going to set it here, sporting goods, maybe, or 
aesthetics, exercise and fitness, sports, safety lights. So we are going to see here some digital things. We are going to put here book. So we are going to type in ebook maybe to recognize that. So we are going to type in book and then we are going to set it here uh, ebooks. This is it. For the condition new for the price, you are going to put it here at the same price that you have into your store, which is $19.99. And the availability, it is in stock. Yes, the sale price, you can go ahead and add a sale price for the marketing purposes. And the product identifiers, a ID or the SKU code, a, a barcode or something like that. So I'm going to put this as like that. So this is, uh, you are going to let it uh, like that. For the language, go ahead and choose the language. These are the countries that you are going to sell. So I have made it internationally. I don't, I don't know if they have added all the countries yet, but it is okay. For the marketing uh, methods, you are going to get here the free listing. Of course, you're going to see it on Google Shopping. Labels, you can go ahead and add some labels. For the product details, you can add uh, some apparel product details, additional product details. Uh, so you can go ahead and add some certification if you have, or some details. The shipping and returns, you can go ahead and set it like this, or set it from here. And for the additional product attributes, you can go ahead and uh, add an attribute, for example. Oh no, here, go ahead and add it. It will help you for uh, the SEO searching. When you finish, you are going to click on save. And here we have added the product. As you can see, the product has been added successfully. So when a customer will buy the product or want to buy it, you are going, they are going to click on buy now or get it now. They will be redirected to the product page here. So the checkout will be on Shopify and not on Google. This is what I wanted to tell you. Of course, there is an automatic method to do that is to uh, set up the store automatically or connect here with the store. So you are going to make it uh, with the store. So you are going to connect it, add your shop by store and etc. So for example, you are going to click on products here. So here you are going simply to add another product. Where is it? Add shipping. So you are going to add it manually, automatically, not manually. And also you are going to set it right there. So you are going to set up here the business links, the uh, countries, and etc. So uh, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.